Gonna dance on your head. 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 My name is Okwe Okwokwasili, and I will be here at ICA. Uh, I am the creator and a performer in Poor People's TV Room. Poor People's TV Room is basically a piece that explores the collectivity of uh, a multi-generational group of brown women. It is about how we lean into each other, how we project onto each other. Um, it is about a twinning. It is about, um, you know, the past and the future. Um, it is also concerned with memory, right? And how the people who have come before you live on in you in the most mysterious of ways. So the initial kernel of Poor People's TV Room came about because um, as the sort of Boko Haram crisis was happening in something like, uh, I believe, was it 300 um, young women were kidnapped from the Chibok school? And there was this huge movement that arose out of it, um, and it became this viral sensation, Bring Back Our Girls. And, you know, I was just really interested in how the or origins of that phrase, it came from a former a vice president of the African World Bank who was speaking to mothers, um, the mothers of these women saying, you know, and, and it's also trying to speak to the Nigerian government saying, bring back our girls. But as the viral sensation took hold, I felt the presence of these women who had initiated this movement kind of started to, it was elided, it disappeared. It just drew me back to sort of other movements, other instances of the agency of African women, the political and social agency of African women, where those have disappeared or been sort of replaced or what surfaces in the place of these women who are active agents of change in their own lives as they are these narratives of uh, these victim narratives or these narratives where um, they have to be saved and rescued. So I started to think about, oh, wait a minute, wasn't there this story of these women in southeastern Nigeria who engaged in this sort of, in this massive resistance against the European colonial powers and also against the indigenous representatives of the European colonial powers and it was called the Women's War and so I started to look into that. And then I was really fascinated because the Women's War, another name for it was called the Women's Egwu, or the Grand Egwu. And Egwu in Igbo, it means dance or performance, right? And I started to think, of course, these embodied protests or most embodied protests, spaces where people come together to kind of speak in one voice and air a particular grievances or ask for some kind of redress, it is a performance. I mean, the thing that I love is going into a space where the audience and I, where we can be deeply entangled in each other, where there's some let go of all of the expectations that you might have around coming into a performance piece. I'm not here to teach you anything that you don't know. What I am here is to reveal something between us that you just haven't done before, maybe. So that's what I hope, that people can come into this space with the willingness to go somewhere that I'm going, and we will go together. Maybe we won't get there at the same time. It might not look the same when we get there, but I'm in this place, and I'm working in a psychic and energetic field that is charged by the presence of the audience. The audience should expect to see, I hope, ghosts. <laughs>